Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to find images of chandeliers on Google and then how to cut them out and then apply them to your props in RLC, namely for making chandeliers for hanging from the ceilings. Okay, so as you can see I am in RLC at the moment at one of my showrooms. So first of all what I'm going to do is go and uh, find some chandeliers. So let's see, we'll try wrought iron. Check I'm spelling it right. I like to add PNG on the end because then I get quite a few options where they're already basically cut out. But that's totally up to you. Right, so let's have a look here. Um, I'm just looking for something quite simple just to show you. Right, we'll go with this one. So, I want to do... Well, that one's already a PNG, because you can see by the little checkered markings and um, background. So, we'll save that. Okay, so I like to save it to my desktop. Saves me an awful lot of hassle. Right, so I clicked on there. Shouldn't have done. We'll close that for now. Right, click off there. And we'll go in here and then we just find it and I just want to open it up with GIMP. GIMP is the software I always use but the same idea goes for Photoshop or whatever. Right, so let's load this up. Right, as you can see it is a PNG image and it looks like a bit blurry there so I'm going to sharpen it. So I go into filters, enhance, sharpen, come down and you can just Yep, that looks better now. And I found that uh, for any files that you use in RLC, especially on props, it's best to have them scaled down to 512 by 512. Now you see, because you can always scale it up on the actual prop once you've got it applied. You can see what I did there. I just unlocked that chain and then I can put both settings in there. There we go. And we shall just save this again. And as it's already a PNG file, you don't need to bother about changing the name of it. And next, what you want to do, you want to go into your image hosting site. I use Imageur, but it could be Pimp and Host or Photo Bucket or whatever. Oops, I haven't signed in. Right, so. <coughs> add this post here and there it is I think that's it yep so open it's very very easy to do these and then I'm just going to go find the same image right so click on that so I'll be using direct link but before that what I want to do is I actually want to add a prop in here so I'll go into my prop editor um, Find, and I'll be using an alpha pine tree so I just type in pine you can type in alpha or whatever it helps if I can spell alpha pine tree that's what I'm looking for and we'll just move it over a bit for now just so you can see what's happening and then we go into script and it's just a cached web image and I always like to set mine on forever because that saves them then we go back here direct link um, control V you can't just paste and there you have it now let's just move this around a bit so that we can see if we've got any put it onto a dark background a darkish background and you'll see that we need to do the transparency of it a bit because it's got that white edging so you go into state leave the animal alone texture translucent yep We'll probably bring that up to about 20, I think. Maybe more. Yep, 30 should do it. And we've lost most of that edging. Maybe 50. Play around with those settings until you've got it looking the way you want it to. And then we'll just move it down a bit. And now here in your scale, you can just scale it out, scale it down a bit. Get it the way you want it to look. Uh, go back into state and I don't like using the unlit because apparently 
that can cause quite a bit of lag if you use quite a lot of these so go down to your um section here in the state tab and you'll see emissive and then just bring up the while you're running that if you watch you can see it lightening just nicely i mean if i was to put in 255 which is the highest setting you can see it really brightens it up and again because i'm still showing some white edges around that that may be uh the way it's been cut out but nope that looks even better and you can see now we've got quite a nice little chandelier and that is basically how you do chandeliers okay